Hey everyone, hope you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to solve an SQL problem which has been asked by a lot of big tech companies. Here is the question. I had also posted this on LinkedIn a couple of days back. So we have the first table which is called calls. Okay. Here we have the name of the person and their phone number. Okay. This is the first table. So we have four people, Ajay, Ashish, Andy and Anne, and we have each of their phone numbers. The second table is called as call details. And this has the following columns. It has the ID of the call. It has the caller number. So the phone number of the caller. It has the phone number of the callee. Callee is the person receiving the call. Okay. And it also has the duration of the call in terms of minutes as it is given here. So for example, this number 9444910200 called and spoke to this number 7528, whatever that is for eight minutes. If we just look at the table above, we can find that this number 9444910200 whatever 10200 is actually the number of Ajay and this 7528 is actually the number of Anne. Okay. So basically what this means is Ajay called Anne and they spoke for a total of eight minutes. Similarly, we have uh, the call details of some of the other calls here. Okay. Now we have the problem where they say write a SQL query to join these two tables and display only those names who had a total call duration of 10 minutes or more. Okay. So essentially the output should only have two names and Ajay because if you check this full call data, you will find out only Anne and Ajay have spoken for a total of 10 or more minutes. Okay. For example, let's take Ajay. This is number. So here he has spoken for eight minutes. Then we have Ajay here where he has spoken for one minute. And we also have Ajay here where he has spoken for one minute. So he has spoken for a total of 10 minutes. Similarly, Anne has spoken for more than 10 minutes, which is why they want the output like this. So we need to write an SQL for, e for this. So let us jump into workbench and see how we are going to tackle this. Okay. So I have this first table, whichever I showed you now. So we have the table name. I've given it a name calls new. So the names and the phone numbers. Okay. Second table call details, the name of the caller. I mean the number of the caller, number of the callee and the duration. Okay. So let's proceed with the question. Let me create a new query tab. So no one gets confused. So first of all, I will write select star from cricket dot calls new let's see okay so we know these are the phone numbers here right phone numbers of the people and then from this table we know either that person's phone number can be that of the caller or the callee right so first step let's just try to do a join between the two tables and see what is happening okay i will select every column from the table so i will select a dot star i'm selecting everything Okay, and I'm going to join this. So I'm doing a normal inner join. Uh, I will join it on cricket dot call details too. That is the name of the other table. I will give it an alias name B on. So I want to join it on a dot phone number. Okay. Equal to B dot. So first let us try to join the phone number with the caller column. Okay, let's try to map where the phone number matches with some number in the caller column. So I will say B dot caller. Okay. So I'm selecting A dot star. I'm also selecting B dot star. This is just a small way to get started. Let's see when we run what happens. So now you see, okay, it, it does get some matches. So we have Ajay's phone number matching to the caller number of this call and the duration was eight minutes. Okay. So we are able to see we are getting about six rows that are matching. Okay. But we are matching it with only the caller details. Okay. So for example, the callee details and phone numbers join, we have not done yet. Okay. So this is getting us only one part of the equation. Wherever the phone number matches with the caller, we get that data. Okay. So instead of doing caller, if we change this join to callee, let's see what's happening. Now you see in the first call, 
Annie was the callie, right? This is her number and it is matching now with her phone number. Okay. By just changing caller to callie in the join, now we are getting a different set of six names because now we are mapping the phone number in the first table to the callie. Okay. So now we got two sets of different sets of data by doing two different joins. Okay. So just think what we could do. Just take five seconds. Yes, as many of you may have guessed it already. So now we could just use these two queries separately and combine them with a union, right? You might have seen union in my previous videos. It is basically appending two tables, one below the other. So I will give one table for this join on caller and then I will say union and I will copy the same query again, put it down. But the only change I will make is I will join a one callie, okay? Remember that here using union or union all doesn't matter much because there is no duplicates between these two sets of tables. If there was a duplicate, we should use union because union all may not remove the duplicates. But since here both the tables have different data, we don't need to bother. We can go with union. So once I do this, let's see what's happening. And for just uh, convenience sake, I will change the table names here to C and D. Okay. No need to worry much, but yeah, just do this. Okay. So it says unknown column A dot phone number. Okay. So I just need to change this since I changed the table names. I need to change it to C and D. Okay. Now you get it. So now if you see, we got 12 rows. Okay. So essentially we got the, you know, for example, in this row, the phone number is matching with the caller number. So we get all that. And then from here, the phone number is matching with the callie number as well. Okay. So now we basically have the data where we know what is the time that each person has spoken on different calls. For example, Ajay was the caller here and he spoke for eight minutes in this call. However, if I scroll down a little bit to the bottom, you can see in these two calls, Ajay happened to be the callie. So he was receiving the call and he spoke for one minute here and one minute here. So essentially, if I scroll back up, there were only three calls in which Ajay was involved. So in this call, he spoke for eight minutes. In these two calls, he spoke for one minute and one minute. So Ajay's total comes out to be 10. Okay. What is a natural next step we can do? Just think about it. We have the names and the call durations, regardless of whether they were the caller or the callie, right? So I can put this full table, okay, into a bigger table. And now I can just do a subquery from that. So I can say, select, let me give it a name, say X, just an alias name. Okay, I would say select X dot name, okay. And we have the duration, right? We just need to sum the duration as you see, right, for each of the names can just say sum of the duration. Okay. I'll, I'll give it an alias name, total time, whatever it is from. So I want it from this table. Okay. And then obviously I want to group by name, right? I want to see the sum duration per each person. So now when I run this query, let's see what happens. Now we get all the four. So we see, as I just showed you a bit back, Ajay spoke for a total of 10 minutes. Anne spoke for a total of 12 minutes. Andy spoke for a total of five minutes. Ashi spoke for a total of nine. In this, according to our question, we need to show only people who spoke for 10 minutes or more. Okay. How we can do that? We can simply leverage the having clause. So we could say having uh, whatever column that I've created that is total time is greater than or equal to 10. I put that filter. And they also want us to do one more thing, sort them in descending order of time. So I could say order by total time descending. Okay. So when I run this now, now I get only two names because only these two are greater than 10 or equal to 10 and they are sorted in descending order. And since the output wanted us to just show the names as you see here, so I can just go back to the subquery original and I can just for example, remove this part. Okay. But if I remove this part, I will have to be careful about the having condition 
we are not defining uh, total time right so we will have to say having sum of duration and then order by also you change the same okay when I run this we get the and and ajay names okay so this is the expected output we have reached here this is one solution but there is actually even a little more easier way in SQL to do it okay instead of straining so much and adding the union or all that what we could do is option B so when we are doing an inner join we could do the join on two independent conditions in the same query okay so what I could do here is I could say select whatever a dot star b dot star all that stuff on this okay and I could just add the keyword or and I could say if not on this try to join on the callie instead of caller okay so in the same query we could incorporate that so for example if I just select this part and run it you can observe and see what happens okay so by running just that part now we are getting the same 12 rows right so the same uh, like you know Ajay as a caller we are getting here right in this row if I go down a little further here Ajay is the callie that one minute and similarly the last row Ajay is the callie so instead of writing union and writing separate query we could just add an or condition in the join and this works pretty much the same the outer query doesn't change it remains the same I just removed the union and just added the or condition see how it's way simpler by doing this so now when I run this query again I will get only an and ajay because the rest of the query doesn't change still I am putting the condition some duration greater than or equal to 10 ordering by that some duration descending okay but instead of union I just added an or condition and basically we, we optimize the query by just adding one line instead of adding another new query with the union okay so this is another approach there is also another subquery approach which few people have told uh, so that is also possible so you could do the union and do the join outside okay and uh, still uh, get to the answer as well so you can try that third solution by yourself I hope you understood what I meant but these are two ways to uh, getting here.